smuggling of aliens into the United States is a vicious racket. Sometimes aliens are brought in by land, often by sea. Two people, strangers to one another, being taken into the United States illegally. Ilsa Trouble, a native of Dresden, an actress. Jacques Blanchard, a Frenchman, at one time a teacher of science. At the wheel, the smugglers, criminals, killers if they had to be, carrying on a dirty traffic in human misery. To avoid interception by the border patrol, the smugglers took their vessel, the Star Queen, through reef-studded waters. A mariner's nightmare, an area of jagged shoals waiting to tear the bottom out of a ship. They saw the uncharted show too late. The Star Queen was doomed, and with her locked below decks, two human beings. My daughter Patty and I were in Mexican waters off the coast of Lower California, doing some underwater prospecting for semi-precious gemstones. It's quite possible to do mining on the floor of the sea. What I was after was jade, the precious gem of the Orient. I had hopes of finding some here, under the calm waters of St. Vincent's Bay. out of Estelle Bay, almost out of sight of land. Get away from that radio. Patty. The Star Queen. This is WA 7257, the lively lady calling the Star Queen. This is WA 7257. This is Star Queen. This is Star Queen. It's no use. They can't hear you. This is WA 7257, the lively lady calling the Star Queen. Over. It was loud and clear, like they were real crows. And the man said it was five hours out of a, a sterile bay. And he could hardly see land. Well, it could be Diamond Shoals. We're not too far from it, Patty. Let's go in, okay? Okay. They want to drown us. I'm afraid that's quite true. If we arrest, we'll become evidence against them. We are safe in here.
the bottom there. They've heard me. They've heard me. That's impossible. There is a boat. How do you get some dry clothes out for these men and keep that coffee? Where's the other man? What other man? The man I heard on the radio. He had an accent and sounded like a foreigner. Oh, that was me you heard. I sent out that SOS. Uh, yeah, that coffee and some dry clothes is sure going to sound good to me. Be right out. I'll get underway. to die here. You must trust me. I know what we must do to live. But we're on the bottom of the ocean. No, we're on a reef. We are perhaps, so oh, I would say, 50 feet beneath the surface. There's enough air in here to last us for 12 hours. It gives us time to plan. Plan? What? What? You must remain calm. If you're excited, you use too much oxygen. We need every bit of oxygen we have here. Please, do me a favor. Sit down. You are from Dresden, hmm? I don't know. I recognize you when you first came aboard this miserable boat. And you are an actress. I know. I saw you on the stage. Oh, you couldn't have. But I have. Now, let me see. That was uh, Staatstheater Dresden, May 1957. L'Ecole des Maris, School for Husbands by Moliere. I was at that time teacher of physics in the Polytechnic in Leipzig. You were very good. You're kind. No, I'm truthful. That's why you must believe me, that I am a teacher of science. That I know what to do to survive. Uh, All right, let's see what I can find in this prison of ours. Uh-huh. Look what I found. and our rudder was caught in the kelp beds and it threw us up on the rocks. Pa? Hmm? The man I heard on the radio did talk like a foreigner. The man was excited. His boat was sinking. Naturally, he'd sound different. Take over, Patty. I gotta make my report to the Coast Guard. Outside. We'll be out of this prison, and when we do, the door out there will no longer be locked. Now, I'm going to cut a hole through the wall of this compartment. No, 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 the water will rush in. Of course it will rush in. Please remember, I know exactly what I'm doing. You must believe me. You must. Ah! 
Huh? They're gone. And they didn't even say thanks. Well, I didn't really expect a reward. Now listen to me carefully. We are no more than about 50 feet beneath the surface. There is tremendous water pressure outside. The water will rush in, yes, but it will not displace the air, it will compress it. Why? Because I made the hole at the bottom. Had I opened the door, then the water would rush in and drown us. Now, when a certain amount of water comes in, the air trapped in this compartment will no longer compress and the water will stop rising. I think it, it will stop to about here. You stay where you are. Make that hole large enough for both of us to swim out. Here, you take that light and try to give me light down there. you sleep. There was another man on that boat. I heard him. Don't you think I can tell? Of course you can. No, you don't. You don't think I know. The man I heard talked like a foreigner, but kind of nice. Those two men we picked up, they were American, and they weren't nice, Pop. No, they weren't, Patty, and I've been thinking about it, the way they ran out on us. You get dressed. We'll go on and have a look, huh? Okay. This is WA-7257, the lively lady calling Coast Guard, San Diego. Hey, give me the light. make the hole any larger. I've, I've struck steel girders on both sides. I can breathe. How can we go on? Strange. So strange to end like this. Ever since the first days of war, my family gone. So many borders, so many bribes, so many false 
passports, always walking in fear. The hand on the shoulder, the voice of authority. Your passport, please. This was to be the end. America, the peaceful haven. The end of our fear. And instead, it's the end of everything. immediate action from the Coast Guard when I called. They were sending a cutter to meet me at Diamond Shoal. I hope too just off the reef where we picked up the two men. I won't wait for the patrol boat. I'm going down and have a look. Take over, Patty. had been sunk, that much was certain, and I was reasonably sure I could find it. It was what I did after I located the wreck that concerned me. I had no idea what I'd find in the hulk of the Star Queen, but I had to make the attempt. I was convinced now that Patty was right about the man with the foreign accent. Maybe there had been a third man aboard the Star Queen. The search for the Star Queen took longer than I expected. When a boat sinks, it doesn't always go right to the bottom. The currents push it around, and it could wind up a couple of miles from the point where it went down. When I finally found the Star Queen, she was lodged on a reef about 60 feet down. ready to leave. Then I saw it. The piece of wood had one word on it. Help. Can you hear me? Knock twice if you can hear me. There's two of us. A woman. The air, it's very bad. Do you understand? There, there are a couple of people down there, alive. 
They're locked in an airtight compartment. If I open the door, I release their air bubble. The water rushes in and drowns them. Now, there's a hole big enough to squeeze a couple of regulators and tanks through, but somebody will have to go in and show them how to use them. I think maybe you can squeeze through. I'll try, Pop. Good girl. Just a few minutes more. He will be back. willing to wait, to get in legally. I don't think the immigration department will be too rough on you. You can apply in a year or so. Whatever happens, we'll never forget. We owe our lives to you and your father. Mein tapferes kleines Mädchen. means you're a brave little girl. <laughs> <laughs> 